So let's talk about the redemption of Angela White, Black China, uh, the rebranding and how she has overcome the Kardashian curse and is the only one to do so from what I believe. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at again, it is daily and consistent content. Inject it, subscribe, and let's get straight into this conversation. And this is what this video is. It's a conversation. It's something that was just on my mind over the last couple of days. But we have seen Miss Angela White, formerly known as Black China, who, you know, has decided to remove um, fillers from her cheeks, anything around basically that you can remove from, from your body if it's fillers or not. She also got this Baphomet, you know, devilish tattoo, which I don't know why she even has on her. If we're going to keep it a buck, it's a very odd thing, but a lot of people in Hollywood, you know, do scary things like this. Um, she even had this removed as well, was baptized, has become more religious, is apologizing to people publicly about things that she may have done or offended other people. She really is coming into herself. It's a different version of her. It's a rebranding, it's a new energy, and it's authentic. I think it definitely is, and I feel like everybody can reach that moment in life whenever they reach that moment in life but i feel like she has overcome the kardashian curse where when you come into the family you either become used and discarded you're no longer as relevant whereas you know she is everywhere in the paper she's getting booked and busy with all these interviews with you know the daily mail the tamarind show there's so many that she's going on she's all over the blogs everybody is speaking about her and you know they're seeing her in this new passage of life where she looks much younger as well much healthier and is just enjoying herself and her time and is definitely more relevant right now than the Kardashians are which are barely being spoken about their new show the trailer dropped as well for the season three I'm not even going to show it guys it was terrible awful nothing was going on in the trailer it was just very very boring and bland and I think that's what they have become over the last couple of years where the relevancy has gone down the drain slowly by slowly and the new show is helping that as well where I feel like Angela White Miss Black China has come out soaring like a phoenix over the past couple of months, when it comes to this newfound way of life, it's inspired a lot of people. It is a movement. And I think that, you know, it's just going to influence people watching it to maybe reach or become religious or, you know, find a different way that is better for them. And I'm just happy for her 110%. I think that she is just overcoming the curse. She's breaking the curse, breaking, overcoming the curse, proving people wrong proving people wrong because she was used and discarded by Tiger, by Kylie Jenner, by Kim as well, then by Chloe as well, also by Rob, like by the whole family. And I do feel like she's just come out with this newfound energy and I'm just so happy for her and I wanted to make just a three minute video just to have this discussion here where I'm just content with the fact that this girl has broken the curse and I'm loving this movement of her finding herself in a new religious light and she's able to right her wrongs, apologize to certain people and become a bigger person than she was before. So I think it's great, absolutely loving it and it's a movement and I've never spoken about this before but I wanted to speak about it 110% everything that she's doing is going viral it's getting the social media conversations I know the Kardashian girls are definitely locked in on this movement and are annoyed by it but it's definitely creating a lot more social media buzz than anything they have done or are doing in the past three months that is rubbing them the wrong way because you know they have their new show coming out and Angela White, Black China, everything that she's doing is covering everything that they are doing, which is not what they want. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Chloe or something start doing the same thing, child. They all start baptizing, going in this new. You never know. You never know. They seem to they seem to copy trends as opposed to set the trends. So you never know. But I'm here for China and I'm here for all of it. Let me know your thoughts are, and I'll catch you guys soon for another quick review.